Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to install an old work box in drywall. And this is the Qubit outlet box saw blade for oscillating multi tools. See, this is my Milwaukee multi tool, and I'll be cutting a, a hole in the drywall right here. And the hole in the drywall is going to correspond with this old work box size. You can kind of see here that it's just the right size. And see, an old work box, when you tighten this up, it has a little wing on here. You see how it, it clamps to the back of the drywall? And there's, there's two of them. And so that's how you use an old work box. I've made a level line right here and a plumb line right here. When you use this box, that's all you need to do. You just need to start it like that. You don't need to draw the whole box. You do need to find out where the studs are. I know I'm a couple inches from the stud here, so I'm good. So you put the outlet cutter right here like that. And just turn it on. Okay. So there, we've already got it cut. Oh, here's our hole right here. Let's test it out. Put it right in there. Oh, that's great. That fits great. Okay, so I'm going to be running a 12-3 with ground, and that's uh, for a three-way switch. So we'll be putting a three-way switch in here. So what you want to do is you want to uh, give some curve to this. Okay, so you loosen up one of these tabs right here like this, this plastic tab. Not all the way, just loosen up a little bit, okay, and then it goes in here like that. The reason for curving the wire is that if you curve it, it can go up towards the opening of the box instead of just going right towards the side of the box. Okay, so you just work it in here. Now we've got our wire out about eight inches from the end of the sheathing. Put it just like this. And we're going to tighten down these screws. Finish it off with a hand screwdriver. Okay, so now the box is very secure. We got a nice neat job there. And now we're ready to wire our three-way switch. And notice that I've left about three-eighths of an inch of the yellow sheathing in the box. And the little blue flap is still operating as a cable clamp. You see, if you take and just bash that up with a screwdriver or something to, to get it out of the way, once you get your cable in, it doesn't work as a cable clamp anymore. So that's called an integral cable clamp and it takes a little more time to work your cable in and not destroy the integral cable clamp. Now I'd like to explain why I left 3 eighths of an inch of sheathing in the box and for that we'll go to NEC 2020-314.17B2. Conductors entering through cable clamps where cable assemblies with non-metallic sheaths are used, the sheath shall extend not less than six millimeters, one quarter inch, inside the box and beyond any cable clamp. I'm pointing this out because it takes some time and detail work to do these old work boxes correctly. And it's quite a bit more difficult if you keep that integral clamp pretty much closed so that it works as a clamp after you insert the cable. I'll put links in my video description for the Qubit SQ1000-S outlet box saw blade and I'll put a link for the Qubit SQ1000-D. See the S is for single and the D is for double. And I'll put links for both the Milwaukee 18 volt and the new DeWalt 12 volt oscillating multi-tools. Let me know in the comments section what is your favorite oscillating multi-tool bit. 
There's so many different kinds out there now, sanding bits, cutting bits, and you know different materials and so forth. And I love my oscillating tools. I think they're, they're super handy. And I'm interested to hear about new kind of bits. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.